What is happening, Magnesite? <laughs> Two new Predator movies in 2025? Two! I guess, uh, Disney's trying to, um, marvel this, huh? They trying to marvel it. Are y'all trying to super franchise this? Last movie was I. Right. Two Predator movies are coming in 2025. Let's see here. Fans of the Predator franchise are already having a fantastic week. We are. But it's about to get much better. Days after Disney officially announced that the next film in the franchise, Predator Badlands, will be coming to theaters next year. A Fox executive teased that a second film is also coming out next year, and they may eventually take on Alien once again, too. So is that like a uh, another AVP? After Prey became a success, that film's director came back and said he didn't want to do Prey 2. And we're like, well, what do you want to do? That rhyme way to play the game, bars. It's written right there, I swear to God. 20th Century Studios president Steve Asbell told The Hollywood Reporter, and he rattled off a bunch of ideas that were really crazy, but really cool. We've actually done two of them. They, uh, two are coming out next year. One I can talk about, one I can't talk about yet, but the other one is the live action Predator film with Ellie Fanning that just wrapped in New Zealand. That'll be out theatrically sometime next year. Who's Ellie Fanning? Ellie Fanning. Okay. Uh, when pressed about the, what this second movie is, Abel won't budge. There's a second Predator movie that we have different plans for. Dan has actually directed both, as Bell said. There's a secret Predator movie that will come out before the theatrical one, but I can't say anything about it. Hmm. What he can say a bit more about is Badlands. Badlands is an absolutely bonkers idea. Uh, it is a sci-fi thing, but it's not what everybody thinks it is. And I mean, it's awesome. It's so nuts. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I don't believe nobody in Hollywood no more. <laughs> so what the heck is he talking about? The fact, uh, as Bell said, the other one is the live action Predator film leads some to believe that the second film is some kind of animated project. Hmm. Uh, understandably, uh, he would not comment on it, though. He did, however, offer this winky face emoji tease on social media. So feel free to speculate wildly below. From there, the studio uh, president has admitted that a sequel to Alien Romulus following Rain, yeah, I did hear about that too. Um, okay. Uh, it would be in a way you think that's the thing Asbel said about AVP, not in a way that it will be just called Alien versus Predator or anything like the original movies. If we do this, they'll be organically created out of these two franchises that we've continued with characters that we fall in love with and those characters will combine, perhaps. <laughs> okay, well, I'm a Predator fan. Predator movies are hit or miss though. You know what I mean? I mean, let me think. Let me think down the line. I actually liked first Predator. I actually like Predator 2 more than I like Predator 1, okay? And then well, what was there after Predator 2? Now I'm starting to go blank. Was it AVP? Aliens vs. Predator? The first Aliens vs. Predator was all right to me. I actually liked Requiem more because of Wolf. The Predator in that, I absolutely loved. He was unstoppable. He was a badass. Um, I know most people like AVP one more than Requiem, but I've really, like I almost never watched the first Alien vs. Predator, but I will tell you this. I went back and watched it a few months ago, and I was like, you know, it's better than what I remember. It's better than what I remember. I enjoyed it more than what I remember. That second one, man, that Requiem, I, I, would, I can't tell you how angry I was that they killed him. 
It was like killing Bushido Brown. Okay? Like, why? This is an excellent character. It was like killing, uh, you ever watch Eon Flux, the first shorts? Remember the shorts that were in liquid television? There's a guy with a sword, a bad ass with a sword that's tearing through everybody in one of this one of the sketches. They killed him. I cannot stand when a bad ass character gets killed like that. I can't stand it. It's like killing Broly. I I, I cannot stand that. <laughs> it's like they don't know what to do with it, so they gotta tie, they gotta tie up loose ends at by the end of the movie. You don't have to do that, man. We'll, go watch how badass Wolf is, okay? Anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. And if you enjoyed my thoughts, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!